Let's dedicate a few minutes to discuss some core concepts about data that are especially important in the context of citizen science. So we will start with a first set of concepts, data, capta, information and knowledge. First we have reality and it is rich and complex and not all of it can be captured uh, with specific identification of specific facts that can be clearly defined and separated. So the facts are well defined and can be captured. We call that type of uh, thing data. Above data, we will use the idea of capta, facts that are actually collected from the real world. A concept that was uh, suggested by a uh, Checkland and Hallwell book, Information Systems and Information System. It is used to differentiate from data all the facts in the world and that exist in general and point that in any given situation we are making a decision on which facts we want to collect um, and out of the all possible facts. That means that even in data collection stage, we are already making some important decisions on what questions can be asked and what can be done with the information. Information is frequently understood as the, an organization of data in a way that makes it possible to make sense of the data. Information can uh, be turning data that we have collected, so what we have just called CAPTA, into a table that allow us to examine the changes throughout the day or uh, by marking the different hours as an organizing aspect. Above information we have knowledge, which is identification of common structure of facts and identification of patterns rules and other structures within the CAPTA that we've collected. Despite of the introduction of the idea of CAPTA, for all internal purposes, what we usually call data is actually CAPTA. So in order to avoid con uh, confusion, we will continue in the rest of the discussion to use the term data. So let's now look at the next co core concept which is data and metadata. So another core differentiation that we need to pay attention to is one between uh, the data and metadata. Here is an example to make this easier to understand. Our data is a picture of a science bus which visited community center in Birmingham during the uh, Doing It Together science project. The data is in this case is an array of color value that together make the image that we can show here. The specific value of each pixel that makes the image are actually creating the data itself. However, we want to capture further information about the image, which camera was used, what's the resolution of the camera, the date, the time, the location, and things like that. Now, in image formats like as JPEG, include an element called EXIF, E-X-I-F, which is a piece of information for a, or a collection of facts about the image, which is the main data. So it all come together in one file, but actually we have the data, and then we have data about the data, which is metadata. Metadata is very valuable in analysis process and can be used in many, many ways to help make sense of the data itself. The final concept that we uh, worth covering when talking about citizen science is interoperability. Interoperability are a set of standards this time uh, meaning an official agreement about the structure, content, and all sort of other technical detail which facilitate the ability of one computer system 
to exchange data with and information with another system. Here we see the general concept, uh, fr conceptual framework of the Cobweb project, and you'll note that there are relationship to the Open Geospatial Consortium, the Group on Earth Observation, and the European Inspire Directive. All those bodies are actually setting standards on how information about the environment can and should be shared, and this needs to be taken into account when you are organizing and sharing citizen science data.